we want to promote the awareness and the team for this year the team for this year is working together to prevent suicide there are things that each one of us everybody you don't have to be a professional or a therapist you can intervene to help someone so working together to prevent suicide one of our key points is take a minute and you can take a minute to reach out to somebody you can take a minute to learn the warning signs and you can take a minute just to ask a family member how things are going on suicide is a hundred percent preventable but people don't like to talk about it because there are some myths that we need to clear up yes we know that suicide is difficult to talk about but it is not true that if you talk about it that you make that vulnerable um, person more likely to do it that is a myth if you would try to reach out to somebody who have a history of attempted suicide you can learn a lot from that person if someone is talking about suicide or threatening to commit suicide you can talk to that person but when you reach out to these people you will know they will tell you that it meant so much when somebody reached out to them and listened to them and encouraged them so we want to let you all know that you can make a difference in somebody's life and you can refer them to professional help each district in the country of Belize have a mental health clinic here in Punta Gorda. We're open Monday to Friday and we're also available by telephone. Nurse, if anyone out there, um, they would be talking about some of the challenges that comes along with suicide in your capacity. Can you comment about that? Okay, so some of the challenges are that, especially during COVID-19 right now, people becoming overwhelmed. The economy is taking too long to pick up. Some of them have, were working in tourism industry. Some of them are getting so bored that they're not using their time wisely. They're not exercising. They're prone and maybe they're using alcohol and drugs. And maybe sometimes due to, lack of, due to restrictions going out, we still have people who live in domestic violence and all of those things that make people more vulnerable to depression and suicide. We also have to look at our young people and our elderly. So I want to say to people out there, take time to reach out to each other. To commemorate this day, we went out, out to different institutions to give out these ribbons to promote Suicide Prevention Awareness Day. Let's work together to prevent suicide. Take a minute and reach out to someone today.